Climate protesters have long been a protected species. Authorities and average citizens have always been too scared to call them out, let alone physically remove them from public spaces for fear of being cancelled by the woke minority. But the tide is turning and individuals have had enough. Police, law enforcement and average Joes are rejecting the dangerous climate activist agenda in record numbers and showing their dissatisfaction in a very big way. Sky News All-Stars James McPherson, Piers Morgan and Chris Kenny ask, is time finally up for the woke climate change agenda? This time the victim was Burning Man. Usually a haven for liberal music lovers who are allies of the climate agenda, but the activists seemingly don't discriminate. They blocked the entrance to the festival, disrupting anyone from entering and caused absolute chaos. But the Nevada police weren't standing for it, says Sky News All-Star Chris Kenny. We want to show you what happened out in the badlands of Nevada in the last 24 hours. They have the Burning Man, Burning Man Festival up there every year. Usually very woke types head up there for the Burning Man Festival. It's a pretty sort of woke scene, if you like. But have a look what happened on the road. Climate protesters actually blocked the protest. So they got a whole lot of woke holiday makers wanting to get to Burning Man, but there was all sorts of scuffles here because the, you know, the Extinction Rebellion types were actually blocking the road. But the reason I wanted to show this to you is because the Nevada police turned up and have a look at how they dealt with it. Turns out there is a reason to have a rhubarb in Nevada. So there you go, the police then came back and they moved everything out of the way. They arrested a couple of the protesters and they were determined to obviously to open up that road. Now, we don't condone any sort of brutality, but these protesters, you've got to deal with them. And the Nevada police certainly did. Ordinary citizens have also had enough. Motorists in Washington DC unleashed on protesters who were sitting in the middle of the road blocking cars from passing. One man was heard screaming, I want to work, after being held up from his daily commute. No! I want to walk! I want to go to walk! My friend is talking to me! My friend is to me! I want to go to walk! I want to go to walk! We got to go to work! We got to go to we got kids to feed. We got kids to feed. What the f are they doing? The f Nothing. Get the f out of here. And the backlash isn't limited to the US. Germany has also seen a spike in violence from everyday people who have simply had enough of disruptive climate protesters, says Sky News All Star James McPherson. I love that guy. I'm the karate kid. No, I'm just a soy boy with a man bun. That's all I actually am. Sky News All Star Chris Kenny exposed another group of German climate activists who didn't know what hit them when they were brutally dragged off the road by ordinary motorists. She's just fantastic. She doesn't muck around, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be calling her the brutal blonde. I'm calling her the beautiful blonde. And darling, if I get your phone number, I'll give you a call. <laughs> I'm available. I mean, seriously. She, she has got to be one of the most fantastic women I've ever seen in my life. And it's not only the police and ordinary mums and dads lashing out at the climate crazies. The media has also had enough. Sky News All-Star Piers Morgan slammed one protester on live TV, calling her a moron. We're just done with these clowns. We're done with them. 
They are spoiled little brats, attention seeking. Nobody cares anymore about the message because they're always listening. We've all just grown, not just weary, but angry at the Just Stop Oil protesters constantly causing chaos for chaos's sake, wrecking things that the rest of us enjoy, or just going about our normal lives. They've blocked roads. They've thrown soup over priceless artworks. They've trashed the Chelsea Flower Show. They've bolted themselves to the goalposts at a Premier League football match. They wrecked the World Snooker Championship. We've all seen this stuff and just put up with it because it's the British way, isn't it? Just let these people do this because they're protesters. But the solution was staring us in the face all along. It was Johnny Bairstow. And the serious point here is that these protests have now become completely self-defeating. Many people back the principle of their cause, but not one single person at Laws Today or at any of the things that they've been doing this stuff at have turned around afterwards and gone, you know what? They've really got a point, these people, and I must join their protest. After seeing them throw paint on the pitch of the test match, I'm not racing to be behind Just Stop Oil. I'm racing to loathe and detest them for wrecking a day that I love. As you rightly say, why don't you just stop the stupid stunts? Stop wrecking because people's this won't get, lives. This won't stay in the news and it won't stay in the conversation. And perhaps what we're doing by interrupting the things that you need to do that are important to you, that you love, is we're making you think about everything that no, we're standing No, you're not. You're making lose. me think you're a Lord bunch De of morons. Lord Debon said today... You're not, Chloe. Lord Debon said Chloe, today... Chloe, you're not making me think about your cause. Now, Nobody at Lords well, today was thinking, you God, you know think what? It, this kids. is about climate change. We saw the orange powder, the whole crowd started booing, and fortunately, England's wicket keeper, Johnny Bairstow. Are you going to let so, me talk? Uh, actually, no, I'm going to cut you, you off. I'm going to go to, go to Sir Geoffrey Boycott. Je Piers Morgan also supported vigilantes who have simply had enough of the climate warriors. In my view, this kind of behaviour is as wrong as the eco warriors who go around spraying paint everywhere and everything. It's not a symptom, though, of a sick country where people think that nothing works, including the police, and they're tired of it. So they're getting on with action themselves. And not even the high priestess of climate activism, Greta Thunberg, is exempt from backlash. The chief protester was dragged away by police who were unbothered by the cameras filming the altercation. So, come out the top And here in Australia, there's progress too. The government is cracking down on climate pests, slamming them with a $50,000 fine and three months in prison for disrupting the public's free passage. We're here to discuss this with our usual Hidden Agenda segment is former MP Nicole Flint. Nicole, I'm going to say it, I like this law. The vandals and the troublemakers who disrupt our lives by gluing themselves to the road, they're going to be hit with a very hefty penalty. That's right, Corey. Uh, not long ago, two weeks ago in South Australia, you could be a feral who glued yourself to the, uh, to the, to the road. Uh, you could deface an MP's office, uh, a, a, an office building, and you would just get a $750, $750 fine. It really wasn't worth the police's time uh, in prosecuting. And I've had that experience, you've had that experience. Now the penalty is $50,000 and up to three months in prison. So all of a sudden, the troublemakers, the ferals, the idiots who are stopping traffic, gluing themselves to footpaths, to roads. We had someone abseil off a bridge here in Adelaide two weeks ago, stop peak hour traffic for like an hour and a half, Corey, just people trying to get home, get their kids from school, all that sort of thing. They, it will not be worth their while anymore.